All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In the last tutorial, we understood what is component composition. We tried to understand by creating different components. We compose them, and we try to pass information, be it primitive or non-primitive, from parent to child. In this tutorial, we'll specifically focus on how can you call child methods from your parent. All right, so similar to similar to public variables using the at the rate api decorator methods can also be exposed that is the primary idea of this tutorial okay so if i were to go back to our previous example the container component let's go to safari and let's refresh this page right so what you have here is a owner component then you have you know container components child components and grandchild components for now what we'll do is we'll try to uh, use a simple simple query selector basically just so that i explain you the topic let's assume that on the owner component you have to do something so that it triggers something in the child component or the container component okay meaning a level up one level up con component is taking wanting to call a one level down components method how does that happen let's go to the container component this is the one level down component correct this is being called from the owner component from here right so what i am going to do is i'm going to go to the container component in the js file and i'm going to create a method okay and i'm going to say handle parent call okay and i'm going to say let's say this dot i think i'll just keep it simple for this tutorial this dot parent called is equal to true all right i have created a variable that's called parent called and I'm going to just define this variable as false by default in my component and I'll go to my component and what I'll do here is I'll just create a template and I'll say LWC if this value is present only then show that parent called the method to show this pair show that the parent called the method to show this it has not been called by the child or the current component itself okay just so that we see this particular information is going to only show up when the parent wants it to be shown that's the idea okay so this is the variable this variable is defined here and there's a method defined here that's called handle parent call and only if it is set to true is this is when it is this is going to be shown right so if i were to deploy this right now you will not see this information coming up on your screen why because the boolean because the boolean flag is currently false and no one is calling this particular method from any page right now okay let's refresh it yeah nothing is being shown but now what i want to do is my use case is that from my owner component i should be able to call this method directly right when when would you really want to do this you would want to do this when you are actually working on multi components nested components and you want your component to re-render or do some calculation or manipulation based on certain criteria you might want to you know re-render your screen update your data table change the boolean flag update your formula but that information resides on the child but you have an event on the parent level so how do you handle that on the child level that's where you are going to use these kind of scenarios okay so what am i going to do i'm going to call this method from my parent now to call a method which is not yours again you have to expose it so at the rate api can be used on the method level as well that's the first knowledge transfer i want to do today with you you don't have just at the rate api for variables you can do it for methods also meaning now this method is also a publicly exposed method make sense cool now what we were doing with the variables is i'll just close the child i'll just close the grandchild let's close the grandchild child we are only working on the owner and the container right so what we were doing with the variable is we were just taking that variable making it at the rate api then using it here by the kebab case format correct but now you cannot do the same for methods right because if we were to just do the same here handle parent call so this will basically be handle parent call correct so it will be converted into kebab case fine but what do you do basically what do you equate it to there is nothing to equate it to correct because you are not passing any values you want to call a function you want to call a method so this will not work in this case what will work you have to actually trigger it from your js 
okay so what we are going to do is i'm going to create a button here let's say all right i'm going to create a button right i'm going to name it title and on click listener three things correct so i'm going to say name is call child title i'll also keep call child and on click i'll simply say call child method done now this method is going to trigger only when this button is clicked on the owner component level so i have to define this function in the parent component or in the owner component so i'll define it here console dot log parent method called to call child method from here okay let's see now how things look like i'll deploy this right here i'll deploy the container component also deployed deployed right let's go back here and now we should start seeing a button right there is a button but it does not have any value so i'll just go in here and i'll just say call child all right i'll say deploy okay might be missing out something name title i think there's another what do you call it uh, type equal to submit lightning button example i'm just missing out an attribute so that it populates it let's see so lightning button basic button i'll just copy it from here what have i missed variant label i think it is the label okay i gave it a title but i'll, I'll have to give it a label okay so let's say label i don't need it written here i'll get rid of this section save deploy so instead of the name you need a label for it so that it shows because see right now it is showing up but it is hidden because the label is not visible let's refresh it now okay so the button is showing up now now if i click on the call child i have put a console log so i'll say inspect element let's increase the size of the console log and let's remove all of this stuff by clicking on the delete and when i click on call child you see parent method called to call child method from here meaning my button is getting clicked that's all i wanted to check okay now the real deal begins and if you also notice that con that text content that we put on the container component is not showing which one am i talking about this one right here it is not showing yet my idea is i want to click this button on the parent level and be able to show this information on the child level because how do i do it i will set this flag to true but let's assume you did not have a capability of using a flag you have to call a method because you, this is a very simple example but you have to do some calculations here right so based on those calculations only you are finally showing the flag right so simply simply having a variable you might challenge me right himanshu you are using just a variable so why can't i just create a @the rate api parent call and i'll use it no not that way i am considering that you have some work that you have to do here and only then you are deciding okay parent call should be true that's why okay so i'll deploy this here and now i'll go to my owner component now here this component is getting getting called and this method is getting called what do i need to do now basically let's go back to the keynote so once you have exposed a method what mes method have we exposed the method on the container component here this has been exposed when i say exposed it means at the rate api has been appended to it cool so you can use a template dot query selector to find and call the method from the parent level what is this this is basically your gateway to calling child methods so this dot template dot see all of these options automatically show up and here you will see query select is also available okay this is basically your entire html okay so this dot template this template is what this template is basically nothing but the html template this thing okay what do i need to do if i have to just think of it okay just think of it if i have to access something from the container component which is in the js file and i am sitting on the owner component html can i say this dot template dot find me the component if i find the component then call this method that's what i'm going to do as simple as that the way to do is is by using the query selector this dot template template 
dot query selector here you have to tell the system out of the query selector what are you are actually wanting to select or what are you actually wanting to select out of this particular template i want to select this container component as is it is a string attribute i am saying that can you find me the c container component in your template okay let me see let me see let me see yeah okay it is here okay found it now what do you want to do i want to use the dot operator and call the method what is that method that method is handle parent call how can i access it because it is exposed so it is available for me here say that's it and you have been able to call your child method from your parent as simple as that okay so if i were to deploy this now and if i were to deploy my container component let's see on the button click we should start seeing this section showing up also okay i'll just highlight it a bit and i will also put a break tag save deploy so now my parent component has access to a child method and it is calling it once it finds the container component from the template let's go back to our safari refresh it and let's see if it is if it works out or not see what has happened here your parent component is able to call a child method even this is so powerful right and you're going to use it any and everywhere you have to interact with elements where where you know elements are lwc components which are nested or you know linked to each other and you have to call something from the parent which is sitting on the child why for example you have a search box right based on that search box you are returning some results those results are being returned from the child table so when the search box is modified you want to call a method in your child component to re-render your list in that case this will come in handy makes sense so all you need to know from this particular tutorial is template dot query selector okay so query selector is nothing but a dom api that returns the first match of any element meaning right now see what we have we have just one child component here what if i had multiple if i had the same thing four times how would the query selector work it would basically do the query selector find the first match template lightning card container found it i'll return this i'll not even look at the bottom section no not needed i found it i return it that is what the query selector does but you would ask himanshu what if i want to do this for all the four in that case if you want to look at all the four or if you want to look at like you know what do you call it all the elements all the matches you have to use another function or another dom api which is called query selector all it returns an array of elements okay so if i were to do this here let's say deploy even though i have four times this component listed when i click on the call child it will only print it once because this is going to find and match my first what do you call it my first uh, match of the component now if you notice see it has increased because i have mentioned it four times but when i click on the call child what happens only for the first one it is showing it for the remaining it is not that is the power of query selector okay but what about if it is a query selector all it will basically look at all of them together okay and it has to be handled in a for each method if you want to call it for all of them make sense cool so that is what i wanted to talk about here this is how you can very simply it's not a very big thing but it is something important and it's something again people are not uh, because they are not aware of they are not able to you know figure it out this is how you can call child methods from a parent method parent component using the query selector this dot template the only prerequisite there are two prerequisites one is that you have to have the method exposed using the at the rate api that's the first thing and the second thing is on the parent component you have to use the this dot template dot query selector this component should be listed somewhere in your html only then it will be able to find it or else it will not be able to find it why do we say this dot template dot query meaning it is looking at the template whether it is present or not if it is present it is giving you the value and then you can access that component cool amazing so that was all about component composition i wanted to discuss in the previous tutorial it was about uh, passing primitive and non-primitive data types and in this one it was about calling child methods from parent all right great that's all for this particular tutorial i will talk to you in the next one bye